one of the fun things about playing old music, in this case, you know, I like to think of it as roots music, is that, you know, imagine if you could, you, you, sometimes you'll hear a news story about, you know, how they discovered the scotch that was on the South Pole, you know, that has been sitting there for 150 years, although find an old bottle of French wine, you know, that's 250 years old, and you'd like to think to yourself, boy, I wonder what that would taste like. Uh, well, that's exactly what playing old music is like. You're actually able to enjoy all of the sensory details and all of the sensory fun that, uh, that was on offer at that time. Interestingly, this tune was collected uh, just about the same time that Bach may have been writing his cello suites, but uh, these were collected uh, jotted down uh, by hand from a piper who was living right along the borders. Uh, his name was William Dixon, and this is uh, a tune called Doddington Lads. It doesn't sound like Highland music, that's for sure. It's got kind of a wild gypsy character to it. Uh, it's got about 15 parts to, through different modes and some different meters. Uh, it's, it's kind of a window into what that world might have sounded like along the borders there with all these traveling gypsy folk kind of mingling with the Scots and mingling with the uh, Northumbrian uh, folks. Uh, a fabulous piece of music. To me, it sounds kind of like a mix between Scottish pipe music, Philip Glass, and uh, uh, let's see, maybe Def, Def Leopard or something oh. like that. <laughs> Magnus is going to access his inner, his inner Iron Maiden. <laughs> so here we go.